They say you can insure against just about anything, but does that include recession, terror attacks? All kinds of worlds are colliding here at the Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. Tackling it all, Oliver Betta. He is chairman and CEO of the world's largest insurer and financial services company, Allianz. And it's great to have you here because these are topics people are absolutely concerned about. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about the investment climate that people are so terrified of right now? How do you see it? We see it less dramatic than many people that read daily news. And because we have spent the last few years to make us more immune to sort of short-term shocks. We're long-term investors. We typically have liabilities that have a decade in duration on the life side, for mm -hmm. example. So while we are concerned, we're not terrified. Not terrified. Uh, look, you guys are the parent company of PIMCO, the bond giant. Mm -hmm. How are bonds performing right now? I know they did pretty well last year, but not as well as I'm sure anybody would like to see. How about now? Um, it depends on what segment of the market you are in. Our colleagues in Newport Beach are doing their best to find the instruments that make sense for investors. And I'm, by the way, very proud of them. If you think about the fact that they had significant outflows last year and you know a little bit about bond markets, you know how difficult it is to perform as well as they have performed on the absolute return fund at the end of last year. So I'm very happy with what they've done for our clients. Well, you're understating the fact that PIMCO actually beat the performance of the founder who left Allianz which a lot, with a lot of storm and drong and, and drama, and that is, of course, Bill Gross. He went to Janus. PIMCO actually beat his performance in this year. What did that teach you and the Allianz team about leadership? Yeah, we. To be honest, we never really want to talk about competitors mm -hmm. and, and other firms. So we'd like to look at ourselves and the client feedback that we received. Mm -hmm. So I think the most important thing for us is if we look at PIMCO's performance in future, we focus on investment performance, on investment performance, and investment performance. And that's what really matters in the end. And the second one is to build an institution and move from a founder-led firm to an institution. And that is well underway. Difficult to separate the financial markets from the news flow, though. Mm -hmm. We have terrorism. What yes. kind of policies on your insurance side are you writing against terror? We are very cautious to write uh, policy against terror because some of these risks are rather unpredictable and depend a lot on how people prepare. So we are a writer of some of the covers, but we are very limited in terms of our willingness and ability to write terrorism cover, except for certain segments. However, we make sure that we help our clients with assistance and other services, give them intelligence on where the risks are so they can actually prepare themselves and make sure that they avoid risks that can be avoided. Can I read into this that it's almost too difficult right now to beat the terrorists when it comes to anticipating? I think for an insurance company that's very difficult to answer. You need to ask policymakers. Mm -hmm. In terms of pricing risk, I would uh, concede that it's very difficult to anticipate where and how terrorists are going to strike because we live in open societies. You know, these things can come from any direction. They ha can happen at any point in time. And if you deal with individuals that are ready to kill themselves to cause damage on other human beings, that's so foreign to our open societies that we really need to adjust to that. I, I agree. And I think we all understand how tough it is we already had a shooting at a Pakistan university this morning. Mm -hmm. People have been killed. It's horrifying. The migrant flood is something that affects Germany because mm -hmm. your Prime Minister Angela Merkel had to cancel because there's so many issues surrounding all of this. You know, where do you stand as a corporate leader? Because the German people express concern, but there has to be a leadership position at this point. Yes. So generally, we support our Chancellor on the fact that we need to support people that are having to leave their countries. So we need to provide shelter to those that have to leave and that need protection. At the same time, we obviously need to organize a system that is sustainable. Mm -hmm. So while we are offering our hands, and by the way, many of my Allianz employees are spending a lot of their time in helping refugees in Germany, really? providing shelter, organizing homes, providing food. We need to make sure that the government is able to manage the system and that is becoming increasingly difficult. So the concern in the population is not really about the migrant flow itself, it's about how do we handle administratively um, this influx of people? How do we make sure that Europe as a whole responds, not just Germany? And that is really the challenge. Well, you just said Europe as a whole. Can the Eurozone survive, minus the migrant issues, but free borders, 
so many questions, the euro in flux. Yes, I think absolutely. Absolutely. And there have been many challenges in the past. You know, people were saying with Greece, the euro will go under. We, had all, we will be continuously challenged, but have a lot of faith in the European leaders and the European societies to understand that for our future, we need a strong Europe, not yeah. a weak Europe. In February, you're coming to California? Yes. To check on PIMCO? Not to check, just <laughs> to talk and compare notes and to help our colleagues mm -hmm. to develop. We have a great dialogue with our colleagues in Newport Beach. And it's not good to have people come to the center. We need to go where the clients and where the businesses. That's why I'm going where the business is. From Davos to Germany, all over, we appreciate you joining us, Oliver. Thank, Thank you, you very much for spending Thank the time. Thank you so much.